Hey, what's up, everybody? Knuckles here. Listen, I always say it. Um, game seven, I know you'd rather be playing at home, but the home team has all the pressure. All the pressure. Uh, last night, Boston, Florida. Um, Florida came in there and just took that game away from Boston. You, listen, there's so many turning points in this series, but bottom line, the Bruins were up 3-1 in the series. Game 5, Marshawn has a breakaway, doesn't score. Big, big save there. It, it's over. He scores. Uh, they come back and win that game, and, and then they win the next, and here we are. Game 7 in Boston. Uh, listen, you look at the Bruins lineup, okay, the depth they have, talent, experience, um, both goaltenders all year have been unbelievable. Uh, th this is an incredible team, and they had a great, great regular season. In the playoffs, this team did not resemble the team that we saw during the season. And it's unfortunate for them, Boston, no question. Um, you know, looking at the way Elmock played, he, he seemed a little bit lost in the playoffs, not that type of goaltender during the season. And, and basically, let's give Florida Panthers a lot of credit here. They out Bruined the Bruins. Um, you know, they were more aggressive. They were hungry. They were chippy. They were finishing their body checks. You know, game seven, boy, Boston come out. They look like, honestly, they look like a high school team playing against the Florida Panthers. They just, they couldn't connect on passes. All the turnovers, uncharacteristic of this team. Just an incredible uh, display of... Um, you know, how to not play playoff hockey. And never mind that it's a game seven. And this team, um, man, you know, and I said it all, I said it all during the year, and I remember having Dennis Bernstein on, and we talked. The thing I worried about Boston, Krejci and Bergeron, 35 and 38 years old. You got to be careful with those guys down the stretch. Um, they're both hurt starting the, starting the playoffs. In the first round, they both come back in, um, you know, too little, too late. I, I commend those guys, yeah, for wanting to play and getting in there and trying to <clears throat> carry the flag and blow the bugle and shoot the gun at the same time. But it didn't work out for you. Um, I, I'm going to say game seven, putting Swayman in. Man, I said it. Game seven, home team has all the pressure. All right, forget about the forwards. Now let's talk about the goaltender being put in. It's all on his shoulders. You got to win us this game. That kid had a ton of pressure on him. And listen, he, he played pretty well. But the team in front of him, forget about it. The number of turnovers they had. And then talk about uncharacteristic for a team. They were great at defending leads all year. They get that lead finally. They battle back, make it 3-2. to two. And to give up a last-minute goal when you pull the goaltender. Man, um, just just a real tough way to go out for the Boston Bruins. Um, great season, yeah. But I, honestly, you know, okay, you can hang your hat on that. One of the best seasons ever. But boy, if you don't follow through when it comes to playoff time, then you know what? Who cares about the great season? I'm sure those guys, listen, they might hang their hat on it for the summer. Oh, yeah, we had a great year, but... Great year, but great year, but so yeah, I'm fortunate. I feel bad for my man Jim G Montgomery. He's made a great comeback, and it's a great comeback story. Uh, and a really good guy and a good coach. Uh, he bounced back in a big way. Um, tough way to go out for the coach of the year, and uh, certainly um, he'll want to, you know, certainly make up for this first round loss next year. So there's a long way to go before next year, and there's a long time to think about what happened to this year's Boston Bruins in the playoffs. And uh, was nothing like the team we saw during um, the season. Um, the way it goes, that's why NHL hockey, better than any sport in the world, playoff time, I don't care. You see nothing better than NHL playoff hockey. It's it's incredible time of year. And that first round, man, man, is it dangerous. And the Bruins 
found that out last night. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to Raw Knuckles Podcast. Please like, follow, and subscribe.